In this video, we're going to be looking at working out the highest common factor and lowest common multiple. And we're going to be using the more preferred method, which is using Venn diagrams. So before we start, there's a few things you need to know. You need to know what a prime number is. You need to know how to draw a prime factor tree and work out prime factors of a number. Okay, so let us begin. So what is a prime number? Now a prime number is a number which is only divisible by one and itself. So we've got a few examples here. Two, for example, is divisible by one and two. Three is only divisible by one and three. And five is divisible by one and five and so on. And there's an infinite amount of prime numbers. So let's start by trying to work out the prime factors of 36. Now you might be asking, what's this got to do with HCF and LCM? We need to work out the prime factors before we can work out the HCF and LCM. Okay, so let's carry on with 36. So how are we going to find the prime factors? What you do is think of two numbers which multiply to make 36. And it could be any two numbers as long as they're integers. So I've gone for two times 18. Another thing is, soon as we see a prime number, we must circle it. So of course, two is a prime number and we're going to circle it. Now with the uncircled number, we're going to carry on. We're going to think of two numbers which multiply to make 18. And I've gone for two times nine. And you can see here, I've circled the two. Why have I circled the two? Because it's prime and it stops there. The tree doesn't continue on the two. The nine, however, is not prime, so we must continue. Think of two numbers to multiply to make nine, and there's only one option, it's three times three. And three is prime, so we circle them both, and our tree is complete. We can't go any further. So next, we'll just list those numbers we've circled. So in total, we've got two twos and two threes. So we can list them like this, two times two times three times three. And if you multiply them together, it should make 36 if you've done it correctly. And you can write it in indice form. Of course, 2 times 2 is 2 squared and 3 times 3 is 3 squared. And these are the prime factors of 36. So it's not too difficult. Let's go ahead and do it on another number. So we've got 96 here. So think of two numbers which multiply to make 96. Now, you might think of two different numbers and it won't affect your tree. The tree will look a little bit different, but our answers will be the same. So don't worry if you think of two different numbers. Just the rule is, if it's prime, circle it. So I've gone for 4 times 24. Now neither of them are prime, so I can't circle yet. So I must carry on both of them. So for 4, I've gone for 2 times 2. And they're both prime and I've circled them. So the tree stops on that side. So let us carry on with the 24. So I've gone for eight times three, three is prime, and we've circled it. Now, how about the eight? So two times four is eight, and the two is prime, and we've circled it again. And the four is the only number we need to carry on. And it looks like we're done. Two times two is four, and we've circled them, and there's no numbers to continue. So we can list out all of the prime factors of 96. So we've got five twos, so it's two times two times two times two times two and one three, so times three. And if you multiply all that together, you should still get 96. And you can check that out to see if you've gone wrong. And of course, we can write that as two to the power of five times three. Let us do one more number. Let's go for 120. Okay, so two numbers to multiply to make 120. Now I've gone for two times 60. And two is of course prime and we've circled it. So let's carry on the 60. And I've gone for two times 30. And again, the two is prime and we've circled it. Remember the numbers you're choosing might be slightly different and it shouldn't affect your final answer. So don't worry about that if that's happened. Okay, so let's carry on the 30 then. And I've gone for three times 10. And three is prime, so we'll circle it. It's just the 10 we need to carry on. And there only exists one combination which makes 10, and that's five times two. 
and they're both prime and we circled it and we're done here. So let's list out all the prime numbers we've got here. So we've got two times two times two because there's three twos we can see on our diagram and we've got one three and one five. And if you like, you can write that slightly neater. Two cubed times three times five. Now, finally, we're going to do the Venn diagram to get our HCF, or you can say highest common factor, and LCM, our lowest common multiple. So we're doing it for 96 and 120. When you've got a question like this, you must work out the prime factors of each number first. So for 96, you need to draw a prime factor tree. And for 120, we need to draw a prime factor tree. So in your question, you'll do that first. And of course, we've done the prime factor tree for these two numbers. So we'll just steal those answers. Okay, so those are the answers we had from our previous prime factor trees. So let's begin our Venn diagram. Okay, what goes in the middle? Now, in the middle, we put something which is common in both. So both of them's got a two but not just simply two. 96 has got two to the power of five, and 120 has got two to the power of three. So you can say two to the power of three is common in both, because two to the power of five has got two to the power of three in it. So we're going to put two to the power of three in the middle. Now that we've got two cubed in the middle, we have to realize that 96 has got some more twos in it. And how many more twos has it got in it? Well, we've put two cubed in the middle, two to the power three, that is. And 96 has two to the power five. So there's an extra two to the power two that 96 possesses. So that goes solely in the 96. So we must put two to the power two in the 96. There it is. And we've done the twos. So what else is common in both? And you can see that 3 is common in both. And it's just 3 to the power 1. So we've got that in there too. And the, both of them exactly got 3. So you don't need to put extra 3 in either of the 96 or the 120. Now 120 has also got a 5 in it, which 96 doesn't have. So we're going to put 5 in the 120 side. And our Venn diagram is complete. And if you like to double check, just look at the 96 circle and check, has it got all the numbers that 96 needs? Has it got all the prime factors of 96? And for 96, you can see 2 to the power 3. You can see a 2 to the power 2, which, is, which in total is 2 to the power 5, so that's fine. And in the 96 circle, we've also got a 3. So we've got all of the prime factors of 96 there. And similarly, you can check the 120, and it should all be there. Okay, so let's go ahead and work out HCF and LCM. Now, HCF is the easiest. HCF is simply the intersection of the two circles. And in the intersection of the two circles, we have 2 to the power of 3, and we've got a 3 there. So our HCF is 2 to the power of 3 times 3, which is 24. So remember, the HCF is very easy. It's just the intersection of the two circles. Now the LCM, the lowest common multiple. Well, the lowest common multiple is every single number you see in the two circles, including the middle. So you're going to have the intersection, which is 2 to the power 3 times 3. You're also going to have the 2 to the power 2, which is on the 96 side. And you're also going to include the 5, which is in the 120 sign. It's everything in the circles. So our LCM here, you can see is 2 to the power 3 times 3, the intersection, times 2 to the power 2, and times the 5. And that gives us 480. So now we've got both HCF and LCM. And this is the preferred method to do it. So if you're using another method, please start trying to use this method. So let's now do another example with 36 and 120. Again, we've worked out the prime factors of these before, so we'll just steal the answers. Normally, you'll have to do your prime factor trees and work out the prime factors first. Okay, so let's start with what's common in both of them. Now, one of them's got 2 to the power 2, and the other's got 2 to the power 3. So 36 has got 2 squared, and 120 has got 2 to the power 3. 
So it's 2 to the power of 2, or 2 squared, which is common in both. So that can go in the middle. And of course, 120 has got an extra 2, because it's got 2 to the power of 3. So we're going to put that extra 2 in the 120 side. Now let's look at the 3s. 36 has got 3 squared, but 120 has only got just 3 to the power 1. So only 3 to the power 1 is common in both. So that's going to go in the middle. So we put that 3 to the power 1 in the middle. Just a simple 3. Now remember 36 has actually got 3 to the power 2. So it's really got an extra 3. So we must put that extra 3 in the 36 side. 5 is only in the 120. So 5 can go on the 120 side. And there we've got all of the numbers in our Venn diagram. If you want to check if you've done it correctly, just look at the circles one at a time. So for example, we look at the 36 circle. In the 36 circle, we've got a 2 to the power of 2, a 3, and another 3. And that's all of the prime factors of 36. So they're all there. And you can check the 120 as well. So let's go ahead and work out the HCF and the LCM. We'll do the HCF first because it's the easier one. The HCF is the numbers in the intersection, the overlap, and you just times them together. And we've just got 2 to the power of 2 times a 3. And that gives us 12. So the highest common factor of these two numbers is 12. And the LCM, if you remember from the other example, is simply all of the numbers in the circles, including the overlap. And you just times them all together. So it's going to be the intersection, which is 2 to the power 2 times 3, times the extra 3 on the left-hand side, times the extra 5 on the right-hand side. And that gives us 360. So the lowest common multiple is 360. And there we have it. I hope you found that video useful. Support us by liking, subscribing and share this with your friends. And if you still got some more questions on anything, drop a post on our forum at examqa.com where you'll find your questions answered.